Hello children, how are you today? Fine? Ok, we are going to realize this exercise. Vamos a hacer los siguientes ejercicios. Everybody hands up. Everybody hands down. Everybody touch your head. Everybody touch your nose. Everybody touch your shoulder. Everybody touch your ears. Everybody touch your eyes. Everybody touch your mouth. Okay, now we are going to pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you God for this day, thank you God for my teacher, for my food, for my school, for my family, and for all the things. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now we are going to check the activity at home. Ahora vamos a revisar la actividad de refuerzo en casa. This is the page number 15. First point. Look, read and match. A. Video games. This is the A. B. Hiking. B. Sound bathing. C. D. Photography. D. Camping. This is camping. F. Fishing. This is fishing. This is, there are the holes. Estos son los holes. Lo vimos la clase pasada. Second point. Read and find the words. Always, sometimes and never. Dentro de esta lectura debían encerrar los ad adverbios de frecuencia. Always, sometimes and never. Vamos a leer. Repeat after me. I love sports and hobbies. Sports and hobbies are great. I always go swimming. Oops, my swimming googles, I never forget. I sometimes play tennis. Oops, my tennis racket is, I never forget. I sometimes go camping. Oops, my camping tent, I never forget. I always do taekwondo. Oops, my taekwondo belt, I never forget. I love sports and hobbies. Sports and hobbies are great. Always, never, sometimes, never, sometimes, never, always, and never. Next page. Three points. Choose the right word to complete. De acá debían elegir la palabra que acompañaba a cada una de estas frases y debían usar la regla según si se agregaba este. A. Dana always does the condo. Simon sometimes goes swimming. I never go jogging. Sometimes Carlos plays soccer. Maddie always does gymnastics. We sometimes play video games. Pam and Sam never play tennis. Four points. Read and complete. Use the words from the word bank. Debían usar las palabras del word bank para completar cada una de las frases. A. Michael Jordan is a basketball player. He always plays basketball. Dulce María Espinosa is a singer. She never does aerobics. Rafael Nodal is a tennis player. He sometimes goes jogging. He always plays tennis. Ok, this is the homework. Esta era la actividad de refuerzo. Si les quedó bien, colocan un chulito. Si les quedó mal, van a colocar la X, pero deben corregirlo. Now we are going to page number... 99 of a student book. You cook the story. What time is it? And read everybody. Van a ir a la página 99 del student book y van a recortar la historia. What time is it? Vamos a leerla juntos. 
This is the story. This is the page number 99. Repeat after me. What time is it? Page number 2. What time is it? It's time to play a sport. Page number 3. Let's play baseball all day long. Page number 4. What time is it? It's time to do something new. Page number 5. Let's do aerobics and taekwondo too. Page number 6. Let's play baseball all day long. Page number 7. Let's go camping. Let's go swimming. Let's go horseback. Re reading too. Page number 8. What time is it? It's time to go back home. This is the end. Now we are going to page number 18 and 19 of Workbook. Vamos a ir a la página 18 y 19 del Workbook y las vamos a hacer como comprensión de la, de la historia que acabamos de leer. This is the page number 18. This is the first point. Complete the t-shirt with the word you know. Van a completar el cuadro con las palabras que ustedes conozcan. The sports, deportes, and hobbies. Los hobbies. And for example, sports. Soccer, basketball, swimming, gymnastics, skating, tennis, volleyball, etc. And hobbies. En los hobbies. Photography, camping, playing video games table tennis, um, reading a horse. In the second point, write the numbers to sequence them match. Deben, según la secuencia de la historia, colocar el número en orden. For example, number one, first, play a sport. What time is it? Play a sport. Number two. What time is it? Go on a special tour. Three. What time is it? Go back home. And color the pictures. Y van a colorear las imágenes. Next page. Page number 19. This is the page number 19. Three point. Check or cross out. To answer the question. Van a colocar un chulito. Si ¿sí? está bien la respuesta a la pregunta. Si ¿sí está mal, una X. A. What sport do they play? Tennis is cross out. Baseball is check. Football cross out. Hockey cross out. What sport do they do? Yoga is cross out, taekwondo is check, gymnastic is cross out, aerobics is check. C. On their special tour they go swimming, check, horseback reading, check, hiking is cross out, and camping, check. Color the pictures, colorean los dibujos. Four points. Write a different ending for the story. Vamos a escribir un final diferente para la historia. Por ejemplo, What time is it? It is time to practice a sport. Let's play soccer. Let's go skating. Color the pictures. Listo, mis amores. Now, we are going to page number 28 and 29 of the student book. Vamos a ir a las páginas 28 y 29 del student book. This is the page number 28. It's a review about the... Este es un repaso de lo que vimos la clase anterior. Entonces lo vamos a realizar juntos. The first point, you write the missing vowels. Van a escribir las vocales 
que hacen falta a cada una de, los, de las palabras que son hold. Ok, this is fishing, photography, hiking, camping, sun bathing, and video games. In the second point, you match the verb with the sport. Van a, mar van a unir el verbo con el deporte que lo acompaña. Ok, play, baseball, play, tenis, and play, hockey, do, gymnastics, do, aerobics, and do, taekwondo, go, swimming, go, skating, and go, jogging. Three point. In the three point is about you. Son actividades que ustedes hagan ya sea siempre, sometimes o never. Siempre, algunas veces o nunca. For example, these are an example. I always play baseball. I sometimes go skating. I never do the corner. I always play basketball. Next page, page number 99. Four point, look and write. De acuerdo a la imagen y lo que estén haciendo los niños, vamos a completar las frases. Bob goes jogging. Susan plays baseball. Paula does gymnastics. Sam goes swimming. Annie does aerobics. Mike goes skating. The five point. Listen and complete. Vamos a escuchar el audio y en base al audio completamos la información. Unit 2. Evaluation. Page 29. 5. Listen and complete. Hi, my name is Juan Pablo Montoya. I'm a car racer. I go jogging every morning. I sometimes play volleyball with my friends. I never go fishing. I go swimming every Sunday morning. Okay, repeat after me. Hi, my name is Juan Pablo Montoya. I am a car racer. I go jogging every morning. I sometimes play volleyball with my friends. I never go fishing. I go swimming every sun Sunday morning. Sixth point is about you. El sexto punto es acerca de ustedes. Dice, what do you do every Saturday morning? ¿Qué hacen cada sábado en la mañana? What do you do every Sunday morning? Que hacen cada domingo en la mañana. Por ejemplo, voy a responderlas según mi ejemplo. Ustedes lo hacen con lo que ustedes hacen el sábado en la mañana o el domingo en la mañana. Por ejemplo, What do you do every Saturday morning? I study at the university. What do you do every Sunday morning? I share with my family. Ok, we are going to Open your notebook. Van a abrir el cuaderno. What day is today? Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. En el cuaderno van a escribir la fecha y van a escribir el título. Jobs. Today we are going to see the jobs. Hoy vamos a ver los trabajos o las profesiones. Repeat after me. Fireman. Fireman. Bombero. Chef. Chef, life ward, salvavidas, doctor, doctor, scientist, científico, astronaut, astronauta, teacher, profesor, nurse, enfermera, secretary, secretaria, policeman, policía, engineer, ingeniero. Electrician, electricista. 
artist, artista, plumber, plomero, hairdresser, estilista, mechanic, mecánico, housewife, ama de casa, musician, músico, butcher, carnicero. You write these professions, van a escribir estas profesiones que acabamos de mencionar, estas, y deben hacer el dibujo que represente a cada una de estas, de estas profesiones. Van a hacer el dibujito que representa a cada una de esas profesiones y le van a agregar color. Now we are going to listen a video about the professions. Vamos a, a escuchar una canción acerca de las profesiones. Ok, pay attention. Hey everyone, let's talk about jobs. I wonder what he does and what does she do? Here we go. He's a carpenter. He's a carpenter. She's a hairdresser. She's a hairdresser. He's a construction worker. He's a construction worker. She's a nurse. She's a nurse. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. She's an office worker. She's an office worker. He's a firefighter. He's a firefighter assistant. She's a shop assistant. He's a police officer. He's a police officer. She's a... Mis amores, bombero se puede decir firefighter o fireman. Cualquiera de, de, de las dos maneras está bien. She's a shop assistant. She's a shop assistant. He's a police officer. He's a police officer. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. That was great stuff, everyone. Let's do it one more time. In a big voice, listen and repeat. He's a carpenter. She's a hairdresser. He's a construction worker. She's a nurse. He's a doctor. She's an office worker. He's a firefighter. She's a shop assistant. Bueno, mis amores, ahora vamos a ir a la página 30 y 31 del Student Book. This is the page number 30 of Student Book. Esta es la página 30 del Student Book. First point, listen and read. Vamos a escuchar el audio y a leer cada una de las actividades que realizan las diferentes profesiones. Clapping time for Unit 3. Wonderful jobs. Lesson 1. Where do people work? Unit 3. Lesson 1. Page 30. 1. Listen and read. I'm a chef. I work in a restaurant. I'm a fireman. I work in the city. I'm a doctor. I work in a hospital. 
I'm a lifeguard. I work on the beach. I'm an astronaut. I work in outer space. I'm a scientist. I work in a laboratory. We are going to read again. Vamos a volver a leer de nuevo. Repeat after me, everybody. I'm a chef. I work in a restaurant. I'm a fireman. I work in the city. I'm a doctor. I work in a hospital. I'm a life ward. I work on the beach. I'm an astronaut. I work in outer space. I'm a scientist. I work in a laboratory. Second point, sing along. Vamos a escuchar la siguiente canción. Pay attention. Unit 3, lesson 1, page 30. 2. Sing along. Jobs, jobs, wonderful jobs. Astronauts and pilots have awesome jobs. Doctors, nurses, and teachers help kids around the world. Jobs, jobs, wonderful jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Next page, page number 31. Pay attention. Three points. Look and listen. Pay attention. Unit 3. Lesson 1. Page 31. 3. Look and listen. Then say. Where does your uncle work? He works in a restaurant. Is he a chef? No, he isn't. He is a waiter. Repeat after me. Where does your uncle work? He works in a restaurant? Is he a chef? No, he isn't. He is a waiter. Waiter is mesero. Four points. Listen and match. Vamos a escuchar en qué lugar trabaja cada una de estas profesiones que están acá. Y van a unir según el lugar de trabajo de estas profesiones. Unit 3, Lesson 1, Page 31. 4. Listen and match. A secretary works in an office. A police officer works in the streets. A firefighter works in the city. A teacher works in a school. Okay, repeat after me. A secretary works in an office. A police offer, officer works in the streets. A firefighter works in the city. A teacher works in a school. Five points. Pay attention. Listen. Unit 3. Lesson 1. Page 31. 5. Dress up, listen, and act out. Where does she work? She works in a hospital. Is she a nurse? No, she isn't. She is a doctor. Repeat after me. Where does she work? She works in a hospital. Is she a nurse? No, she isn't. She is a doctor. Ok, mis amores, no olviden que deben escribir las profesiones y hacer el dibujo correspondiente a cada una en el cuaderno, ¿vale? Ahora, como actividad de refuerzo, van a realizar las páginas 17 y 20 del Workbook y estas van a ser corregidas en la próxima clase. Además... Debes elegir la profesión que más te guste o la que quieras ser cuando seas grande. Luego, con ayuda de mamita o papito, debes tomarte una foto representando la profesión que seleccionaste con ropa u, u objetos que tengas en casa. Te vas a vestir y vas a representar la profesión que más te gusta o la que quieres ser cuando seas grande. 
y debes enviarla a la actividad de la plataforma para poderla calificar. No olviden lavarse bien las manitas y recuerden realizar la tarea a tiempo. Los quiero mucho y los extraño. Un besito. Bye.